I just want to show you that we actually make our smoothies fresh. Terry's actually chopping the pineapple as we speak right now. See there. She's preparing to make a large uh, pineapple boba. And as soon as she gets that apple to chop, so we'll come back and order. And this is a batch of fresh cooked boba. There you can see how nice it is. We'll be back here as soon as uh, she's had the most ready. With the pineapple she just mentioned, and she can see here. It's actually put into the canister of uh, the thing, and then what we do further is add some sugar. Terry, how many sugar? Okay, she's already got the sugar in there, and we just add just a tip of one more scoop. So hopefully it won't be too sweet. Terry, I added one more scoop. Because I thought it wasn't yet. So. No, that's right. So uh, how many scoops do you normally add for a large one? And we're making the fresh uh, fruit smoothie here. You can see Terry. She's already got chunks of the... Terry, can we see that uh, pineapple again? There we go. It's actually covered with ice, but you can see it's right in the bottom there, the fresh chunks there. Okay. And this one's our cream of flour green tea. And she's putting it to the blender. So you can see by afternoon already. And the temperature of our boba machine is sealed about 169. And then she's got also the fresh boba that she cooked. And I can show you here that she cooked the fresh pineapple boba. There you go, nice and glistering. And these are the fresh pineapples she just chopped. Make the bar done. Yo, how are you doing? Uh, again, Justin, right? Yeah. All right, this is the bacon bar and he's just about to uh, take a little uh, nibble close to life. Can you show us how it's done, Justin? <laughs> what I'll do is I'll go and pause it so that way he can, uh, I'll get a picture of him biting it.